That's all it had power for. And honestly, other than the rotor, the rest of the machine is really close. They all work the same. It still has a sieve shaking, still has a fan. Right. You know, in 1986, it still had, that's the way they worked. Right. It's just on a way bigger scale, um, way more efficient. That We get way more grain to fall through than we right. used to and not a lot more space. Right. No, no, no. He said okay, didn't he? <laughs> he said action. <laughs> action. Dwayne, nice hey, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. Good. Good to have you in South Dakota. Thank you for having me here <laughs> yeah. and showing me all about how you're using RTK and GeoNet and your farm operations. Sure. And how'd you get into farming? Well, my dad was a full-time truck driver, part-time farmer, and my grandpa was a farmer, so I've been... Uh, the first time I think I drove a tractor was eight years old, pulling years a disc old. across the field with grandpa standing on the drawbar. That's amazing. So <laughs> yeah. you've been doing it a long time, so you've long seen a time. lot of technology yep. come through the farm. And yep. maybe what have been the biggest things that have helped you in terms of technology in your, in your farm practices? Well, yeah, auto steer is the big one. Auto steer um, is the big one. Yeah, at the end of the day, you're not near as fatigued because you don't have to sit there and pay attention to where you're at in the field every second of the day. Um, it allows you to make, especially combining, it allows you to make machine adjustments while the combine's doing its thing. Whereas before, you either did it on the end row, not in real time, or you tried to drive while you're looking at buttons. And now, um, the machine pretty much takes care of itself going across the field, and then you can do fine tuning while the machine's still working hard and you get to do it real time so you get to see how the machine reacts to it right away. So the auto steer has just been huge for, for our industry. And auto steer, you know, really relies on having a good, high accuracy, precise location signal. Yep. And have you seen that evolve a bit or how's, how these different signals oh, work? Oh yeah, you? and you know, John Deere called it SF1 way back right. in the day. What was started out as, I um, can't remember. Before that it was, an uncorrected signal. So then if you shut it off at night, the next day you go out, you could be five feet off. Mm -hmm. You know, it just didn't, it would drift overnight. You know, you, you, yeah. And we don't have that anymore with, with uh, corrected RTK. If you shut it off, come back a year later, that thing is still within an inch. Yep. And um, we, we learned tricks back in the day of how to make it better, but it's not, it was still nothing like it is today. And we can actually go multi-equipment, still run the exact same line. You know, back then it was one pass and that's it. The next thing that pulled in the field made its own line. Whereas now we can move it from, you know, different pieces of equipment. So this ability to have a very high accuracy location signal that's repeatable year to year, day to day, lets you kind of share that location across different machines. You were telling me about how with the combine, you're able to actually have the, the seed carts run in automation, in synchronization, where they're both like, together. The, the combine's actually driving the tractor. The combine drives the tractor. Yeah, so when it gets in a radius, uh, I think it's a hundred foot of the combine, you see a clear path, you hit the button in the combine, the driver in the tractor just sits back and the tractor pulls under the combine and then after that it's all controlled. So it's a real like little team of robots all depending on this yep. precise location signal yep. to do their work. Yeah, and you know a lot of times we're running the tractor is only a few feet away from the combine. So to have them so they're running yeah. each other instead of the guy, you know, you got a 40 foot head running in dry beans. It is dusty. There mm -hmm. are times I can't even see there's a tractor over there and he's supposed to be driving two feet away from the bean head. And this you know, is so. how much is this machine? <laughs> Plenty. Plenty. <laughs> so you have very high dollar operation and, going and, on, working at very tight spacing, big machines. The criticality right. of this precise location is just and phenomenal. And breakdowns and fall are costly. Mm -hmm. You know, you're already on a time window, and if you have a breakdown of bumping two together, it's right. usually a major breakdown. You know, you don't get away with a couple of parts. It's, you're fixing. And one of the things that blew me away is that, that you are able with this automation to do, you've you got 3,000 acres here. All this work, basically you've drawn every hour in this combine, you said. Yeah, yeah, I have every hour on this so combine. The, the productivity amplification for you personally from having this tech around you is like a hundred, it's a huge yeah. force multiplier. Yeah, it, yeah, it makes a big difference. And like I said, the fatigue at the end of the day um, when the machine works, it's way less. It, we used to be, we'll go as long as the combine guy can take it. Mm -hmm. Now we go as long as the truck drivers want to keep going because uh, you know, sitting in there with your refrigerator running, <laughs> you know, a big yeah. day is, is not what it used to be. That's amazing. Yeah. 
Well, thanks so much for absolutely. talking to us about how all this technology is working yep. for you. Yeah, absolutely. It's been amazing to thank, get all the demos. Thank and, you for, yeah. for getting us a good signal out here. You bet. And well, we'll make sure us. we yeah. keep it up, yeah. and it's been great. I'm so glad we met through Brad. Yeah, yeah. And uh, been, you've been able to use an experience that you had in that signal, and it's been helping you in your, in your operations. And it works well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, welcome back to the farm anytime. Thank you. We'll be yep. back for harvest. Sounds good. GeoNet. Mind the sky.